It's just a fan fiction, a story written by me, a writer. This has nothing to do with mention ideal BTS members, real life event, behavior or characteristics. Fake sound videos which are used in this video are not mine. Credit goes to rightful owners. But the editing and the storyline is mine. Do not copy it. The characters of this story would be flawed, grey, especially in main deaths. So do not take them as ideal persons. This story might be dark for some readers. Read at your own risk. Whenever the situation would be ready for you both to elope, he would inform me and I would you, then send my man to pick you up with an excuse of wedding shopping for you. Are you understanding Miss Min? Miss Min, as if his voice brought back her song. She looked at him blankly as if she started to feel lightheaded. Just one person lingering in her mind. What should she do now? Are you okay, Miss Min? You look a bit pale. She placed her palm over her face, hearing him. I am a bit tired actually. Yeah, in this case, this is normal. I might also say too much words with you while standing. Tell me your number, I will give you a call so that you know my number for now. She nodded and told him her number, then he gave her a missed call. Then they went downstairs, Jimin said yes to this wedding and also told his parents would join them during the wedding as they are at vacation for now. After having dinner, Vyan went with her brother Yumi as she was staying with her brother for the time being. Like past, past few days, her parents and Ethan maintained cold behavior around her. Same day at night. Laying on the bed of her brother's house, Vyan was aimlessly looking at the grey ceiling in front of her eyes. Jimin's words were lingering in her mind. He, he knelt down in front of Jimin without any hesitance, just for me, for us. For our child. Memories of the words told her came to her mind. You underestimate me, my lady. I can't even leave my pride for you. Unless, why would I meet you like a thief? He placed his thumb and index finger over her chin while knitting his brows together then replied her with a smile. You? She burst into laughter and playfully hit his arms. Ha! Very funny, Mr. Cheesy. But I asked what you think we can call love the intense passionate feeling we read in novels in real life. You want to know my point of view? Love is very complex feeling, I guess. Everyone's definition of love is different. Everyone sees love differently. Sometimes one's definition of love gives them peace. Sometimes it becomes the cause of their destruction. According to me, love is not when you saw each other at your first glance and call it love at first sight.
at first glance we feel like the dark sky without any stars but after some time we realize how grateful that darkness is then we pray for a star to show up if not for a ray of sunlight According to me love is not when you talk to each other for long hours about random topics or about some intense theory Two strangers on a train also talk to each other like that from the starting of their journey to end of it loneliness or boredom is the reason behind their discussion of various topics According to me it's not love when you hold your partner's hands after seeing another person eyeing them it's as if you are making the other person know that your partner is taken and you are letting your partner know that you are jealous now We put a collar on our dog's neck too to forbid others from taking the dog away from ourselves to give the dog the luxury of our home but in that process he loses the luxury to roam in its territory whenever he wants like wild wolves he waits desperately when we take them outside for a walk According to me love is not when you start to understand each other's words or way of thinking after all two beggars also understand each other's hunger According to me love is not when you are always sharing each other's pics on Instagram or Snapchat tagging each other on each other's posts But yes, if you emotionally get naked with your partner before physically naked, if you feel the desire to hold them bare in your chest even after seeing the most beautiful person in front of you, if you can be totally vulnerable in front of your partner knowing very well they would never use your this moment of weakness against you in future, this is love. This is love if you can be childish in front of your partner knowing they would not mind it cringy. This is love if you are ready to protect them emotionally even though they are too proud to ask for it. This is love if you tears drop on your partner's neck while you are in their warm embrace of comfort and your reason behind your silly smile is their wild tactics to make you forget your worries. According to me this is definitely love deep passionate one. The last words he said ever so gently whereas a genuine smile came on her lips. A tear left her eyes as his words during the hospital incident came to her mind. Don't be angry for that. Nay, don't say. It's true. I can never stand in front of your family and ask your hand from them. Nor can I take you to my mother. But I can always proudly say you are my love, mother of my child, whoever to you want. After we leave from this place, please don't think otherwise. Her Annie Fertilio's answer came to her mind. Her dad's words came to her mind. along with her family members words of whom she gave pain by breaking their trust choose one side wagon choose one if you want to believe one then do it blindly but mind you you have to face the consequences all by yourself
Don't make a fool of us or yourself by wanting both. You always knew from the start that you can't be with both sides. So do think wisely in this situation. You have a child to take care of. If betrayal is your choice, then do it once and all. Don't pick a wound over and over again which would make the wound septic. Though I am sure the scar of the wound would always remain the same, always. You were right, Fratello. You were. All your words are right. She placed her palm over her belly and said gently, while caressing it, Take care of your dad, dear. Make him happy and most importantly, don't make him lonely or helpless like I did, like I am going to do. Is everything okay, doctor? Wiping the gel off her belly with tissue, she asked her OBGYN. I suggest you should terminate this child, Vyan. Her eyes widened, hearing him, how old her day can be. First, she heard her father's cold words, then Thiyang's words about her family, then her saying goodbye to him. Now this. Sorry, come again. Your body won't be able to handle this pregnancy, Vyan. Your life will be at risk if you continue this one. But, Dr. Ariel, I mean, before conceiving, you gave green flag for me to try. And now you are saying that time your BP wasn't this high. Plus, the fetus position is also not ideal. Your body is weak now. You might not even able to continue this full term. So, it's better to if you terminate this before your condition worsens and it becomes fertile for you. Her breathing became a little heavy, hearing the doctor. Is my baby okay, doctor? The doctor shied as he knew what this question meant. Your baby is completely healthy. It's you who is not. Then I don't want to turn minute. I will try to stay healthy. Her eyes become glossy while saying that cause she knew her situation won't let her control her BP. I would suggest think again, discuss it with your partner and immediately come to hospital if you notice clotting. For you, it won't be normal. She nodded her head while knowing very well she won't be telling anyone about her condition as her family won't let her continue this pregnancy after knowing this. She wiped her tears from her eyes with her other hand. Don't ever be like your mom, baby. Don't break your families, your loved ones trust like I did. Don't break your lover like I did. She grabbed her phone from the side table and called Jimin. On the second call, he picked it up. Miss Min, can you go for our wedding shopping tomorrow? 